uh, I'd like to just take uh, five minutes just to go through some of these uh, quick uh, uh, enhancements that we had in the system, but uh, it is uh, uh, some of you may not be using them. One is called the uh, chart alignment. Um, so when you have a template, uh, let me go back and create, uh, close this and uh, open a new template like uh, uh, base layout, for example. Uh, there is a quick key called Control Shift and L. It opens up a layout view. It allows me to, if, if I want to reposition all my, if I want to spread these templates out, um, I can click and move this to the right. Um, I can do a window around all these other templates. And uh, I just want to align them to the top. I could click on uh, align them to the top. So it moved all my, all my templates to the right. Um, so it kind of gives you, then I can go to the next page. So once you're in a layout mode or cleaning up mode, you could use this to align features to the right, align charts to the left, align charts to the top, align charts to the bottom, or distribute the charts from right to left equally, or distribute the charts from top to bottom equally, or you can copy sizes. So some of these features are available, but now we have an interface that you can always have this. If this page looks good, go to the next page and do the do if you need to do some copying or pasting or the redistribution, um, all those types of stuff. So it kind of gives you an easy way to distribute and uh, use your uh, align or lay out your charts so that it looks more professional on your template. Um, again, it's optional, but it gives you a user-friendly tool to kind of walk through all the pages and lay them out. Um, that's the chart shift. I'm going to go to this icon view. Uh, it's been there in our previous versions, but it's uh, not widely used. So I'm going to show you that. Now we have a wizard to create icon views. So let's say all my points are in this part of the front of the door. I could use save icon and uh, create a zoom window which would uh, just create a zoom window around those points. It would zoom my part to that location so that I can see the details of where the low, where the where the measurements are. At the same time, it creates what we call an icon view with the entire part with the red box around where the measurement is. So this is kind of like a like a map view or a or a bird's eye view of that part with a detail box of showing. So if anybody looking at this sheet, they know exactly where the measurements are because they're looking at the zoomed uh, view. At the same time, they also know in perspective where is it in a part. This is a small part, but you, as your parts are getting complex, this is a very user-friendly option. And there is like a wizard that will allow you to do this in two steps for every um, every page. Um, going to the uh, next topic, chart builder. Uh, we've added two charts called composite chart and composite chart V2. Both of them are same type of chart. Any chart typically contains a header section, a data section, a statistics section, and a chart section. Um, so this chart builder allows you to uh, pick uh, whether you, what do you want in your header section or do you even want to keep the header section in this chart type? Uh, similarly, the data section, what do you want to show in the data section? I want to show the last five data points or the values of the last five or the last 10 values. So that's the data section. I can choose to have that or not have that. Um, in the statistics section, what statistics I want to show or not show a statistics section. I can eliminate the whole statistics section. And in the chart, which is the trend chart location, whether I want to show the USL, LSL, or show limits and auto text, or what should be the axis, and the chart size. And so I can choose to build a chart with just the header section and I can uncheck all these three boxes or I can choose the chart, create a chart which is just the statistics section or a combination of header and statistics and I can uncheck the data and the chart section. So I can keep, make all kinds of combinations just by point and click. I can create my own flavors of chart type um, charts which are like uh, header and statistics and the chart. Uh, this one is just the data and the chart. This one is just the chart only. This one is the header only. So I can create two variations of my chart uh, within the system and use them uh, in place of any uh, any chart uh, in within the QDM section. Um, last but uh, the least, uh, the 2D image support uh, with uh, any QDM. Now we I have an option to. Uh, uh, 
any 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 place we can uh, any image that you have i'm just going to just clip something from here uh going to take a copy of it and uh, paste it so paste image from clipboard allows me to paste an image uh, just for an example i'm just pasting this but this could be your datum or a cut section or any type of logo or any company information or any type of image that you have in your clipboard or even your certification information or a table anything that you have from anywhere you can paste them and reposition them on a page uh, gives you the ability to kind of add more content to a page to make that page more descriptive uh so uh you can um, if if this uh, if this chart was a chart type called a, a measurement name chart i'm just going to quickly show you uh if this chart was a chart type called a measurement name chart then um if i go to the options chart settings for measurement name um uh, i can actually display an image inside the chart so i'm going to uh device switch off all of these now i get an option like an empty box now i can place any type of image in here i can also add an image from the library let's say that's a that's a profile point or a uh i i can add a uh let's say that's a position gdnt call out i can create a an image that would uh, be a position gdnt call out for that so we know that's a position call out so uh with within the measurement name chart i can add images inside the chart but with uh, using the paste image from clipboard i can uh, add image from uh, add the image anywhere within the chart uh, or anywhere within the page so these are options that you have to add more content to to your uh, to your image uh, to your report uh, it could be a cut section uh, it could be like a datum image or it can be gdnt call outs that you can uh, place so that make the report more descriptive